Welcome back. In this video, we shall use component dig mount to build something similar to our WhatsApp feature that says typing when someone you are chatting with starts typing. And that's a very good use case of React. You do not need to refresh a page to see the state of your app when using it at that particular time. Another case is the Facebook comments page. When you are in the comments section of a Facebook post, and someone is typing a comment, you can see the notification that says so-so and so-so person is typing. And you can see that notification without having to refresh your page, unlike the Facebook of 2009 and 2010, where you had to refresh the platform to see new comments. So let's get to coding. I've created a file known as whatsapp.jsx in my index.js file, I've changed my component name here to WhatsApp and I've imported WhatsApp from my WhatsApp file. So let's go to our WhatsApp.jsx file and let's have the import statement first and let's have our class block there open and let's say WhatsApp. Let's get rid of the state, the state line. The first thing to do is to create a constructor method that is going to have a super function and state defined as an object. Let's say it's typing, set that to true. Our state is defined. Let's come here and let's get rid of this error. By saying div and just, that's supposed to autocorrect. I don't know why it didn't, okay. That's fine now. Let's take this up. Now let's create our component did mount lifecycle method outside our render method and outside our constructor method. So we are going to do that here. So let's say component did mount just like so. And we are going to pass in a set timeout function that is going to be used as our timer. So in our set timeout function, we are going to pass an empty arrow function like so and we are going to set states here this dot set states and we are setting the state of is typing in our constructor method and we are going to do that like so is typing is an object so i can say is typing set to false not true set to false and right here we are going to set this to 2000 milliseconds. The set timeout function will be set to 2000 milliseconds. So that's all for our component dig mounts lifecycle method. Now in our render method, we are going to return a child component to our screen. So let's say the name of our component is front. And here we are going to pass in a props of is typing set to our state this dot state dot is typing now let's save that everything looking okay for now let's create our front component because we don't have a front component at all so to do that we come to our src folder here create a new file and we say front JSX. In our front.jsx, we pass in our import statement, create our class block, and we call that front. Let's get rid of the state line here. Now, in our front class, inside the render method, we are going to pass in an if statement that will take props. So we are going to say if this dot props dot is typing is true return not to turn return this jsx that's going to be a paragraph tag saying your friend is typing or else return this let's cut this from here and let's place it there. Else return this J 
JSX that says let's pass in the H4 tag that says the earth can be repaired one plastic at a time let's save that now let's go back to our whatsapp the JSX file and let's import the front component because we haven't done that import front from front and that's that so let's head over to our browser to see what we have in our browser you see we have the earth can be repaired one plastic at a time now let's refresh our page to see what's going to happen you can see it says your friend is typing let's make this look realer than it looks now let's just add this right there let's go back and let's refresh to see this you can see it says your friend is typing let me explain what we did in our whatsapp.jsx file here is our whatsapp component and when this component runs it says typing is typing is true and if you check in our front.jsx file which has a front component if typing is true it returns this for us your friend is typing then the component did mount method now going back to our whatsapp.jsx file after this is run the component did mount method runs and it changes the state of its typing using the set state function to false now our render method is re-rendered when our state changes so when our state which is its typing is changed to false we can see this block of our if statement is now rendered now what the component did mount method does again is it uses the set timeout function to time when the state will become false so our components can be re-rendered so here it is 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds so when i run the code you will see that your friend is typing is going to run for two seconds and after two seconds the state becomes false and this block of code will now be rendered to our screen there are many use cases of component did mount for conditional rendering I am just giving you an idea of how it can be used. We are going to get more complex use cases. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.